going to save you thinking and it's going to save you time and it's going to save you stress. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been having a very happy and productive week. And today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 ways to organize your school morning routine. I know I've been doing a lot of organizational videos lately, but I've had a lot of requests for more of these. So I hope you do enjoy and if you do, thumbs up. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed already, please hit the red subscribe button down below and please, please turn on your notification bell. That way you get notified every time my videos get posted. I'm posting every Monday night. I'm trying to do my best to be very consistent here, so I don't want you guys to miss out. All right, let's get straight into my top 10 tips for organizing your school morning routine. Now, I got this idea off a photo that I saw on Pinterest and I love it. I always feel like people talk about the importance of scheduling your morning routine, but we don't really break it down or categorize it. And I really like this idea. So consider actually writing down what time you plan on getting up, what time you need to start getting ready and break down those little categories. So here's just one example of how I thought maybe you guys wanted to categorize your morning routines for school. So perhaps you wake up at 6.35 and waking up involves a couple of things such as making your bed, doing some stretches and also hydrating because it's really important you guys rehydrate. And then you might want to exercise at 6.45 and that could include even five minutes of meditation just to exercise your mind. And then you might want to work out for perhaps 20, 25 minutes. Then getting ready could include showering, getting dressed, having breakfast, doing your hair and makeup. And then it's time to get organized, which involves checking your planner and also packing your lunch and bag. So you might want to write this down and have it displayed on your bedroom door. You might just want to have it at the back page of your planner and just leave it open on your desk. Just until you get into the habit of spending your time consistently each morning doing those sort of tasks and just getting used to the whole idea of timing yourself per task as well. Now you'll notice that in some of those categories, I did make time for a couple of healthy things, healthy habits because your morning routine sets you up for the rest of the day and it's really important that you do things like meditate or exercise or rehydrate and also be mindful of the kind of foods that you're choosing too. So organizing your morning routine for school also involves organizing some time around some healthy habits. And if you wanted a little bit of extra help with staying on track with this, then check out LifeSum. It's an awesome app and I actually mentioned this a few months ago, but they got in touch with me again because they know I have their app on my phone and I use it daily. And it's a really great way to just track your healthy habits and it helps you to organize your life and achieve your personal goals. So try out the water and also the fruit and veggie tracker and just the act of actually monitoring your healthy habits. It'll help you to be more mindful of how you spend your time in the mornings and also what you focus on going forward. Also, I mentioned this once before, but make sure you take the life test score too. It's a test to assess your lifestyle healthy habits, such as how healthy you're eating and whether you're exercising regularly. It just gives you a representation of how you're going at the moment, whether there's any areas that might have some room for improvement that you want to prioritize as well. So do check it out. I'll leave it as a link down below and you can go download it and try it out for free. Now, if you guys are having a bit of trouble getting up and getting ready in the mornings, try and get dressed or shower and get dressed first. Just the act of getting dressed first, it's gonna help you to get out of your lazy mode and start your day. And linking to the first tip that I mentioned, to help you try and be as efficient as you can with getting everything done, you might wanna also create a morning playlist. And I don't have a playlist on Spotify yet. I'm sorry guys, it's something I have to get around to doing. But definitely create something fun, something upbeat, something that's going to get you moving and going. And then try and time all the tasks to maybe one song or two songs. And it's just going to help you to move a little bit faster. Something that I did when Adam and I moved into our new apartment is I tried to organize our bathroom and all of my makeup according to the order that I use everything in. So you're kind of streamlining the efficiency of your makeup and hair care routine. So spend a little bit of time even later today and just try and maximize the efficiency of your bathroom setup. It's just gonna save you a bit of time. And also I feel like we have so many items in the bathroom, especially if you guys have a lot of female hygiene products and hair care products and makeup, then things can get lost, messy, ruined. So the more that you spend time organizing your items or belongings in the bathroom, the faster or more efficiently you're going to be able to use them too. Next tip, really quick, just guys, please ditch the TV in the morning. You end up procrastinating so much and before you know it, you thought you were gonna take five minutes to eat breakfast, 
you got sucked into a show on TV and it's been 20 minutes later and now you have to finish the rest of your morning routine with just a couple of very, very precious minutes. Also, I wanted to mention that organizing your school morning routine doesn't just involve the stuff you do in the morning, it can also be about planning the night before. So make sure that you check your diaries or planners, that you've got all of your homework packed, maybe you want to pack your lunch the night before as well, even lay out your clothes at the foot of the bed so that you don't have to think about it in the morning. It's just going to save you some time and it all really does add up. Consider also having a breakfast and lunch menu planned out for the week. It's going to save you a lot of time here and Lifesum has some updated recipes which I've checked out recently and I love them. I am obsessed with the raspberry chia pudding for breakfast and there's also a really good green smoothie. As you guys know, I'm a bit of a health nut and I like green smoothies. And I am also guilty of spending a lot of time scrolling through Instagram, looking at foodie pages, finding amazing food goals, and then there's no recipe attached. And I have to find their blog, and then I can't find it on their blog, and it's just an absolute waste of time. So do check out Lifesum for their recipes as well. This is probably my favorite part of the app because it involves food. And I just really like to prioritize eating healthy meals every day because it affects your overall productivity and energy levels also. So you really wanna make sure you're fueling your body with all of the really good stuff. And if you can, then as I was saying before about planning the night before, try and organize most of the ingredients in Tupperware or little bags in the fridge. I soak the chia pudding the night before. I wash, cut up and dry the kale and keep it in Tupperware to save me time. It's just about trying to reduce all the things you have to do in the morning and if you've got the extra time at night, you might as well use it then. Second last tip, has anyone ever been in such a rush in the morning that they leave their homework on their desk or in their bedroom or somehow it ends up lying around on the floor and you get in trouble? So if you want to organize your school morning routine, then please make sure you have a homework checklist and display it somewhere that you're going to be able to see it in the mornings. Ideally, you'd be packing your bag the night before and checking off the checklist then. But even if you want to do it in the morning, just have it displayed. Make sure that everything is going to be in your bag and you're not going to get in trouble purely because you didn't have time to run over everything that had to be packed in your bag that morning. And my final tip, it's really simple and you probably can do it within just a couple of minutes at home. It's about streamlining everything that you need as you walk out the door. So for example, the way that I've streamlined my exit, that's what it is, streamline your exit guys. The way that I've organized that in this apartment is I'd grab my keys, which are near my desk. As I keep going, I've got my shoes, my coat, and then my bag is usually hanging on the door at the front. So I've actually gone in order and placed all of the items as I go so that I don't really have to think where are my keys and go from one side of the apartment to the other and then find my bag which is in the bedroom and going back and forth just wastes time and sometimes you forget things as well. So if you place everything in the order that you have to pick it up before you head out the door, it's going to save you thinking and it's going to save you time and it's going to save you stress. So does anyone else organize their morning routines like that? I hope you guys found these tips really helpful. And don't forget, if you wanted to check out the Lifesum app, go download it. It'll be a link down below in the description box. I'm thinking of doing a top 10 apps for students in the next few weeks as well. If you want that, please comment down below because I have a lot of different apps I really want to share with you, but I just haven't had time to make that video. So hopefully I'll get to that soon. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my vlog channel, Life with Jess, for weekly vlogs. Adam and I have so much fun making those videos and there's some really, really cute ones we filmed together that are going to be up very soon if they're not up already. So go check that out. And of course, if you want to have more me in your life, then you can find me on Instagram. Go follow me there. And I'm always commenting a lot more on Instagram than I am on YouTube. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm a little bit more active on Instagram lately. So yeah, go follow me at Studying with Jess. Okay, guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Have a beautiful, beautiful, happy and productive week. And I will speak to you next week. Bye.